Hey, we're going to take a little walk on the property here. I'm going to show you a few of my favorite tree stands. Kind of had the phone facing me now, but I'm going to flip it around so you can see what's going on. Well, we're almost to the stand. As you can see, we're taking advantage of this sand path or road or whatever you want to call it. But again, we're getting into the stand without making any noise. We're facing south, so west is to my right, east is to my left. Okay, we're almost there. Take a look up. I think you can see the green strap up in the, up in the tree from here. And one of the things you'll notice is from this side, you're pretty highlighted. You can see somebody in this stand pretty easily. Let's check it out from another direction. Something else you'll notice is there's a secondary blind here. That's for other wind directions. If I have a south wind, this takes good care of me. And if I have a southwest wind, also very good. East wind, very good. You'll notice there's some thick cattails. There's a slight hill here that the deer can come over. Pan around real slow. A little creek bottom they come out of. And if you look, I'm standing about where the deer would be when I was going to shoot. And you're kind of hard to see. And in a couple seconds, I'll show you some deer that came from this tree. Okay, we're going to head over to another stand here. Now, as you notice, I'm doing my best not to be walking in the woods. I understand not everybody can do that. Not every stand is like that. Okay, we're just about there. I'm going to go down this hill. I don't know if you can see the stand right now on the camera because I can't. But I want you to notice, we're going to go across this little board on the creek, see if we make it across without falling in. It would be a miracle, especially with me staring at the camera. Oh, we made it. Notice that as we walk up to this stand, there it is there, that we're coming in the back door. We're not walking through where we would expect deer to walk through. Getting in and out of a stand are two of the most important things in deer hunting. So here's a view from a shooting angle where you're looking back at the tree and as you could see, without the branches added to the tree, I'd really be sticking out. I've shot some really nice bucks out of this tree. Here's something that helped me clue into the area an old stand. You might say to yourself, hey, it's an old stand. Probably not worth hunting. You know, it's dangerous, it's rotted. Nobody hunts anymore. But somebody hunted at one time and there must have been a reason for them to take the time to build this stand. So this is an area that you really want to scout around. And deer movements change and it might not be the best spot, but it's a clue. That's your $2 tour. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Till next time. See ya.